What's up, fellas? So today, one of my loyal Patreon supporters asked me, how do you develop a good personality? So when it comes to a good personality, you think of somebody who has hella charisma and who has social skills, some sort of social skills. But social skills, the last part, skills. Skills is something that can be developed and practiced. So if you want to develop social skills, you have to go out and talk to people. You got to stop being afraid because... I know a lot of guys on this channel, they're very shy, very introverts, and very to themselves. So if you want to develop social skills, you have to go out and talk to people. You have to practice because it's a skill. If you want to become good at something, you must practice. It's like shooting a basketball. The more you shoot it, the more you become better at it. So when you think of a person with a good personality, he's not just a chatterbox. He doesn't chat. No, no, no. He is a very good listener. So... When you guys, we, we all have that one friend who we can all we can always go talk to. Why? Because he's a good listener. He listens to us. He does not criticize us. He does not judge us for our wrongdoings, but instead he uplifts us. For example, let's say if you um, went for a job interview and you didn't get the job interview, he's not going to be like, damn, bro, you fucking suck. You're an idiot. He'd be like, it's, the, the uplifting friend would be like, oh, man, I totally understand, man. Just understand that there will be more options out there. He's very positive-minded. For example, if you slay cheeks and you get a girl pregnant, he's not like, he doesn't say what your parents would say. He would be like, oh my God, you idiot, you should use protection, you dumbass. Look at you, you're pregnant now. But what that good friend does, he listens and he gives uplifting news like, oh bro, it's okay. Just tell her, you know, to take the plan B. Everything's going to be okay. Just kind of learn from your mistakes. Take it step by step. There's a time and place for everything, fellas. Because when you're going through some shit, do you want some Somebody just to fucking pile on you to make it more shit, like make you pile on more shit. No, you want somebody to uplift you, to get you out of that dumpster. So that's what a person with good with a good personality does. He understands the situation and he's a good listener. Not only if you're a good listener, guys, if you're a good listener, you will be very successful with the woman because how women fall in love is they fall in love through their ears. They want to be feel they want to feel heard and understood. Because when you're talking to a girl, it's 80% listening and 20% talking because when you're asking questions, you're generally getting to know the person because it shows you that you have a good personality because you generally want to get to know him. Because, you know, when you go on a date with a girl, you become a dancing monkey in a chatterbox because you're nervous. You're, you're not confident in yourself. So that's why you try to entertain her. But a, a person with a good personality is calm, cool, collective, and he understands how to lead the situation. He listens. And by listening, I apply the 80-20% rule where you let that girl talk 80% and you talk 20% by asking questions and leading the interaction because a woman loves a guy who knows how to talk and lead. So when you guys think of the players, they're very smooth. They're very calm. They're very, they just believe in themselves whatever they say. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because when you think of a guy who's just not confident in himself, he's very, you know, he becomes a dancing monkey. He talks too much. He becomes a chatterbox. He speaks very fast because he's nervous. But when you think of a confident guy, he's very calm, cool, collective. He speaks very slowly, very masculine, so everybody can hear his words. He does not rush anything. He moves to the beat of his own drums. He moves... Just no, he's not rushing. He's just very. He just he has control of the situation. That's what a guy with a good personality, a confidence, understand the situation and listening. And by understand the situation is what I mean by having good social awareness. And by social awareness is by understand the situation and reading people because there's a time and place for everything. So let's hypothetically say that, you know, today I'm talking to my coworker, everything is smooth. We talk about football. We talk about, you know, girls and all that. And the next day, you know, I see him, he's tired, you know, he looks grouchy. Maybe he didn't get enough sleep. Maybe his girlfriend did not suck his dick or whatever the case may be. I can pick up on these things. I'm not going to go over there and bother him and joke with him like I did yesterday because you can tell that he's not in the mood. He's grouchy. You got to leave him alone. You guys got to pick up on that. Like, for example, when, you know, when you're with your girl 
you know, one day you guys are having sex, she loves you, she's all over you, and the next day she's not going to be because maybe she had a bad day at work, maybe her boss was all up in her ass, maybe, you know, her and her friends went through some shit. You don't go over there and you know, try to fucking have sex with her. You don't pick at her. Pick at her. You have to read people's body languages. You understand what I'm saying? And when you pick up on that, you ask her, hey, what's going on? Talk to me. It's about reading the body language and understanding when to act. So, for example, you know, I was at work like, I think like two days ago. One of my coworkers was, was acting very sad. I knew something was going on. It's just her facial expression or her, her aura wasn't there. And one of my coworkers went in and started joking around with her, started talking shit. And then I knew something was wrong. She told us that one of her friends just passed away. You know, you got to pick up on that. You you can't joke around with people who are down, people who are sad. You can't joke around. You got to talk to them. There's a time and place for everything. So let's hypothetically say that, you know, you're at a bar and you see a girl with her boyfriend. You got to you got to read that you do not go over there and just fucking bombard interrupt their conversation. It's and it's when like when you see two people having a conversation, it's very serious. You do not want to barge in because your presence is not wanted. You you got to understand how to read people there's a time and place for everything you know you don't go to church just to fucking be a dancing monkey and just fucking talk to every single girl it's not it's not a club it's a church where you act professional you come there and you pray the only time where you talk to girls and you want to slay chicks is at the club the bars whatever the case may be there's a time and place for everything and the next trait to a good personality is understanding your preferences you don't do shit to fit in just because somebody likes tennis and you like football, you don't pretend to like tennis to fit in with them because you're not going to have a lot of fun because, you know, it's more fun when you have things in common with people and you don't pretend to be something that you're not. Just because somebody likes tennis, you don't like tennis because you want them to like you. You know, you can't not pretend to be something. You got to be yourself. If you like football, you want to hang out with the people that likes football because you guys have more in common. You're going to have more of a good time because there's there's a similar trait between you guys. So like a girl, for example, just because she got some big ass titties and a nice fat ass, but you guys have nothing in common, it's not going to be fun with her because there's nothing to talk about. You got to understand like your preferences or what you like because with with the girl, you got to connect with her more than just physical. It's more than just a big ass titties and a nice fat ass. It's about connecting with the girl up here. And when you're talking to a girl who you have nothing in common with, she's probably not going to like you for your personality because you guys have nothing in common because you guys are not on the same mindset. You guys don't connect. But when you're talking to a girl where you have a lot of common with, you know, you like river rafting, you like fucking motorboating, you like jet skiing, whatever, you know, she's going to like you more person more 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 your personality because you guys have a lot of things in common. It's like when you hang out with a group of guys who like football and you like football, they're going to like you because you fit right in. You're comfortable. You're in your element. But when you're talking to a bunch of fucking guys who play water polo and you're trying to fit in, it's going to be uncomfortable for you because you know nothing about water polo. And they're not, they're not going to like your personality because you don't fit in with them because you don't do water polo. You like football. You have to find your element. You have to find your niche. You have to find what makes you happy. What, what niche do you fit in? What makes you comfortable? What groups do you fit in? And that's where knowing your preferences come from comes from because when you have things in common with people it's easier to connect do you understand what i'm saying you always want people to be on the same mindset as you and some of you guys ask me about conversation tips with women sometimes you know when you meet all of these girls online you guys don't have much in common because you don't do the same shit that she does so it's going to be difficult to connect someone with these um, with these girls online because you don't you don't have much in common i mean don't get me wrong you can, you can definitely have a lot of common with girls you meet online but i always tell people that to meet girls doing what you love you know at work you know ha having a passion doing like a hobby or something because when you do something that you love it's easier for you to spark up the conversation and when you're at work with somebody you guys do the same shit it's easier to spark up the conversation which means like you connect with people easier which means they're gonna like your personality because basically just conversation tips when talking to somebody is basically how much you guys have in common and how much you guys connect that that's pretty much it when you don't feel that spark with somebody it's basically you guys don't have in common 
And basically, don't waste your time on that person because a lot of you guys, man, you guys meet a girl offline. You see some big ass titties, nice fat ass. She goes, ooh, 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 ooh. And when you guys get onto the date, there's nothing to talk about. It's boring. It's fucking, it's a fugazi. It sucks. It's, you always want to surround people who you have a, people who are like minded as you, people who just have more in common because it's more fun. It's more of an experience because you, you could express to be yourself because you don't got to pretend to be somebody. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So I'm just going to repeat this all back on how, you know, to develop a good personality. So number one, guys, if you don't get nothing else out of this video, just listen. Because people love to talk about themselves. And being a good listener, guys, you're, you're being understanding. It's a very good trait to have because when you're a good listener, you just absorb a lot of information. And you learn a lot about people. And you learn about you learn a lot about life. That's how I learn. I'm I'm a very good listener. When somebody speaks, you have my undivided attention. I just listen. Just listen, fellas. Um, number two is having so good social awareness is kind of understand the situation because you do not want to be that guy who just interrupts everybody where when somebody sees you they got they put down their headphones they pretend to check their phones and they try to avoid you don't be that guy and understand um be confident in your situation understand how to lead the interaction just be positive because everybody loves to be around guys who's positive who's uplifting Nobody wants, let's be honest, do you want to be a guy, around a guy of people who just gloom and negative all the time? Fuck that shit. You want to avoid those people, but you want to be with those people who are positive. You know what I'm saying? Because positive attracts positive. And um, the next thing is knowing your preferences. Hang out with people who you have in common with. So guys, this are some ways on how to develop a good personality. And um... You know, just just be a good listener. Don't talk about yourself too much. Don't be, you know, f arrogant. Don't don't you no. Know, don't come off as a show off because nobody likes being. No, nobody likes a guy who's really into himself a show off. Just be humble. So guys, don't forget to like, a comment, subscribe, and holler back at your boy.